are very degenerate, guys. This is um, guys, you're about to see a degenerate content. Okay, I'm just letting you guys know. At the time, this is a Jubilee, so it's um, this this prompt, uh, this uh, this uh, premise is um, stream, Mr. USD. Instagram models are not real models. Oh, this is a re-upload. XQCL. Let's take a look. And I, I was okay with. Oh, uh, that's that's ugly. Are real models. That's that's disagree. Three, two, one, go. A uh, hard disagree. Wow, that's impressive. If you're posting photos of yourself, you're feeling cute, girl, you are a model, yes. you know? I definitely think so too, if if you're enjoying yourself and promoting yourself naturally and- Yeah, guys, it's just, that's just my, unless I don't understand the word modeling or whatever, uh, that would mean that uh, your Facebook pictures, your Twitter pictures, your Instagram, your Snapchat, everywhere you go, if you post a picture, uh, you're, you're modeling and you're a model and you're a real model. So uh, I don't know. You know, being- I, I, I feel like that, that kind of downgrades the, the standard at which people use the word and think of, of, a, of a model who you want to be and making money off it most times mm -hmm. then get your coin girl yeah. okay i think also the it's not idea about the money though something has to be mo get your coin girl it's not about the money it has nothing to do with it what promoting yourself naturally and you know being who you want to be and making money off it most times mm -hmm. then get your coin girl yeah. okay i think also the idea that something has to be monetized for it to be legitimate Ooh. is also yeah. damaging yeah. you know what i mean yeah. because for a long time in my career i was self-producing things right mm -hmm. and then people people started reaching out to me, oh, do you want to book this campaign, da 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 It starts, yeah, so, it starts yeah. on an angle. Right. I definitely respect what you said, um, but <laughs> it was funny because it like literally teamed at my standard. <laughs> um, so I was actually, I started in Atlanta when I was going to college uh, doing modeling. Yeah. And I remember I met this beautiful model and she was like, I didn't consider myself a model until it affected my bank accounts. Ooh. And literally Ooh, that right. became my goal was mm. like, I would not call myself a model until it affected my bank account. Our Instagram models, fashion models right. I would probably be way over there Same. but our Instagram models models yes sure. because whether you're modeling on top of cars what? or you're modeling <laughs> clothes or you just do hands or you just do shoes I mean give credit where credits do like a lot of Instagram models are not only modeling they are styling they are doing their makeup yeah. they are self-producing they are shooting like yeah. Yeah. that is a job the thing that only frustrates me at least because I'm not industry standards for like being a fashion model. I feel like a lot of people would see me and maybe think I'm an Instagram model. And it's like, no, actually, like, <laughs> I pay for my entire life w modeling. I feel like people think less of what I do or ex don't expect that I could be a professional model because wait, of wait, that wait. existence. But why, did, why does it have to be interlinked so hard? Uh, I, I don't get it. Why can't they be two separate jobs or things? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Of, of Instagram models. I was just thinking of the whole industry and just paying homage and respect to folks that have like gone hard, gone to casting calls that have, like have built their portfolio, have gotten rejection from agencies. And well, I'm, like I, I want to be rude. Uh, wait, people, people pay? Uh, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, versus like someone who's just on Instagram. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but like being on Instagram, posting pr pretty pictures and then getting a bunch of likes. I have hot take prompts, which are prompts that are submitted by our audience, assumptions that they make about models. Models secretly judge fat people. I mean, how would they, they they're... I feel kind of liberated being a plus size model because well, how, I'm not how would she, I'm, I'm not, guys, I can't, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not. Does not mean that I haven't had my fair share of extremely fat phobic situations that I've had on set. All the 2000s, we grew up on tabloids. When a celebrity would gain weight, especially a woman, it'd be like, oh, look at her in a bikini. Like, oh, she's gone off the rails. So I do believe probably some models do have these microaggressions, but it's also- Wait, what? All the 2000s, we grew up on tabloids. When a celebrity would gain weight, especially a woman, it'd be like, oh, look at her in a bikini. Like, oh, she's gone off the rails. So I do believe Probably some models do have these microaggressions, but wait, but that would be the public though that would be doing things like that, not not the models. Wait, you know that's correct. People always ha had tabloid articles about this, but that was the public, and that was writers that would criticize them, not models 
criticizing these people. That is it's no. Also that's also the system's fault. And no correlation. Model. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's everyone. Yeah. Models encourage eating disorders. I don't think models at all encourage eating disorders. Um, I think what people perceive that models oh, may do is in I, order I'm, to I'm, stay I'm, skinny, um, but that's on perception, and it's the perception of it that needs to change. Some of these models do I'm gonna, promote I going down I to agree size with that, zero, actually. and these agents or agencies are ex-models. We used to watch Tyra Banks, America's Next Top Model. She was oh, no, I definitely agree. extremely severely rude to those girls. Like, Takara, the biggest girl on there, and she was a size 12, she used to go down her throat. Uh, listen, listen, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna keep it a buck and a half, okay? Pe people always like to say, oh, influencer, influence, oh, it, it influences people. And they like, they like to hold that term when things go bad, right? They, they, they like to hold people accountable. Well, if you want to keep people accountable and you want to be true about this, about how people in get influenced, if, 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 a, if a lot of models, if not most models, are like skinny and, and thin to the point where like, dude, it's... You can't eat three meals a day, or even two, or even one meal a day, and look like that. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, it does influence people to to do things that uh, to get there. Yeah, it absolutely does. It one hundred percent does influence people to do certain things that do affect the way that they eat and the way that they get the way that they deal with their weight to get there. It does. That's just pro. In the specific reference that you were talking about, I think that this woman was critiquing the models from her experience and what she knew the industry was. She knew for this young girl who has no name, is not signed, you have to fit the clothes or you don't work at the time, at the time. I disagree that models encourage eating disorders on other- Wait, but that's just how it is though, what? That, that's, like, that, that's like saying we need, we need somebody for our movie who's six foot, you're five foot, you can't, you don't have the role. Okay, uh, what about it? We need, we need, we need some, some very, a obese kid for this role? Oh wow, you're not, you're not an obese kid? Okay, you don't get the job. Uh, I mean, what? That's just kind of how it is though. You don't fit the clothes, you don't get the job. Okay, people, so. I think that models encourage eating. We try to sell a fucking clothing for somebody who is, who is a six foot tall and of, of like uh, average weight or whatever. If, if, you're, if you're too big or, or too small, you don't fit the clothes, you're not gonna get the job because, because it, it's, it, we're trying to be nice, whatever. They're trying to sell a product here, dude, for a target audience. They're trying to sell something uh, for somebody who's six foot average weight, not some, some I don't know, maybe s short, fat dude. There's orders within themselves. Uh, oh, definitely so. I wouldn't say that they are encouraging directly, but I would say as to Naomi Campbell and Tyra Banks, how they were saying, well, if you're not going to fit the clothes, you can't get work. So is that you should be losing weight or should the clothes be made bigger? Wow! Modeling promote. Wow! Ouch! Dude, that dude, I just got a headache for the rest of the day. Holy wow! The level of entitlement. They are encouraging directly, but I would say as to Naomi Campbell and Tyra Banks, how they were saying, well, if you're not going to fit the clothes, you can't get work. So is that you should be losing weight or should the clothes be made bigger? Modeling promotes unhealthy beauty standards. Wait, I'm a certain shape and I want to get the job, so make the clothes different? to sell them to another audience that the clothing wasn't made to sell to? Uh, what, that, that? Three, two, Wait, what was, was, was the question? Modeling promotes unhealthy beauty, yeah, of course, 100%. Unhealthy beauty oh, standards. Oh, super hard. Three, the, you, two, this, you, you cannot disagree with one, this, it's impossible. Go. That, that is the. I think the LA the, industry for that. Guys. Modeling is becoming a little more inclusive, but I think in the high fashion sense, um, awful. It's kind of promoted for most girls to have like an eating disorder or stick to this calorie restraint, so. Um, for me, um, we are the people and the, we as the people are society and society dictates what the industry does. Um, and I think that's the reason why it's become more inclusive of everybody. So it's important that we don't blame our industries for what they do as much as we hold ourselves accountable for what we accept. So when we spend our dollars with this industry, we're actually voting every single time. So a lot of it was prompted because we weren't seeing equal representation. So people were stopping spending their money. So they had to reorganize and recreate and 
now they started being more inclusive. It's no. us as society that dictates what's going to be promoted. No, he says that society dictates it. That that's that's kind of incorrect though. I I, I don't I don't fully agree. Okay, there are, there are, there are ideals. There are ideals that, that the society agrees to. That these are these are, are, are ideals that are very hard to obtain. That are, that are nearly impossible. And it's that it, it it's then the industry that pushes these ideals. Like yeah, see, that's how you should look. That's how you should. And that does affect backwards after that. Not the oh society affects what what we do on there. So it's not our fault. Like no, what? So but, if it's an unhealthy standard, it's coming from us. That's not offloading the blame. I I do think that um, the reality is. We are more affected by what we see than we really understand. Okay, like we internalize a lot of the things that we see. Her a lot of people my age are starting to get Botox and fillers, and Instagram people are, are or Instagram influencers, excuse me, are um, getting a lot of uh, artificial work done to their faces to look a certain way. And I think that putting someone that, that is super young or that has like no wrinkles or that has like no acne in your face every single day and you see that representation every single day when you get a flare up you think it's not normal yeah. when you have a double chin you think it's not normal and those things are not the truth it's not necessarily the modeling modeling industry i think we saw, started to see a shift me. when the kardashians like exploded I because <laughs> paris hilton size zero size two was like the look and then here comes Kim and here comes the family and big butts, right? And like we went from a, a, a system of like stick thin being like the beauty standard to now like hourglass curves when so many people of other ethnicities have uh. always had this but have been rejected for having these things. And that led us to a whole Facetune Photoshop nope. era where everybody wants She's to get right. a BBL and get... Uh, n n no, not full hourglass. People, no, people still like that size, but they still want a bigger booty. So, the, uh, in my opinion, there's been a big influx of like, um, like, in my opinion, uh, uh, she's not fully wrong, but like squatting, going to gym to get, to, to get a booty, specifically booty, but people still wanted the, right, the same size frame with a bigger booty. People didn't want a full increase Overall, any of the standards that people want, booty, more booty. Um, breast implants and have like a cinched waist and like big butt and all of these fillers. And like, I don't think it's the modeling industry as a whole that's promoting that look, more so social media and like these influencers and these reality shows. Hey, wait a minute, but isn't, isn't, isn't the premise of the show called Instagram models on your real models? It's almost like influencers and social media influencers that's that's you right there wait that's you that, that's literally you right there you're talking about yours wait People a minute that are like botox and filled to like the brim to me i'm like do what you want like i i have i have no there, she's blaming she just she, she started blaming social media and overall but the premise is instagram models yeah and like these influencers and these reality show people that are like Botox and filled to like the brim. To me, I'm like, do what you want. Like, I, I, have, I have no hate for anyone that wants to do what they want with their body. Like, you have that autonomy, you do you. But I think the big problem that we get at, and I feel like it is more problematic, honestly, in the social media space at times because they're claiming that everything is natural. They're claiming, you know, oh, I just worked out and I got this body. And it's like that, those, what might seem like little white lies to them, has have impacted our entire generation of these young women especially it's important that what th the that fuck? we realize we have that autonomy too like i've done a photo shoot and been edited to kingdom come and like i never had a, <laughs> a, an ounce of cellulite on my ass and that's just not the case and we need more people seeing those normal aspects like you said acne wrinkles like people have that you know wait then why did she go on on disagree then wait th then why did she disagree then I've done a photo shoot and been edited to Kingdom Come, and like I never had a, a, an ounce of cellulite on my ass, and that's just not the case. And we need more people seeing those normal aspects, like you said, acne, wrinkles, like people have that, you know? I am okay with being photoshopped. Three, two, All in the green, one, let's go, everybody in, go. come on. Don't, don't stall me, don't, no, 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 no. Don't fucking stall me, don't fucking do it, man. It's all agree. It's no shot. All agree. Did redo the whole show. I completely agree with being photoshopped. <laughs> While I don't think it's healthy for the public image, 
I'd do this for me. I model mm. for myself, right. you know. And um, I've seen my abs be photoshopped. No, no, and no here's, here's my here's my hot take. In. Here's my take. They're they're gonna try to down they're gonna try to to downplay, make a big deal out of photoshopping it, because because in the models and in in the in the magazines they photoshop. When these motherfuckers probably have eight filters and a bunch of dog shit on their Instagram pictures, yet they want all the benefits of being a model, but none of the downsides of being a, of a real model. It seems like they want all the good and none of the bad. When you choose that you want to be a model, it comes with the whole package, dude. And your filters and your, your weird things and your color corrections, that's photoshopping. You're, that, you're, that's, it's not because it's not photoshop on your phone when you're doing clicking, but it's, you're still altering the image. That's photoshopping. And I, I was okay with it because I was like, it paints a really great picture. You know, I, I use it for inspiration for myself because I'm like, I know my abs did not look <laughs> like that at that time. So I'm gonna go get in the gym so I can get my abs to look like that because they could look like that if I did a little bit of work. Um, so on my end, I'm completely fine with it. it. Again, it's about the client and the story they're trying to tell. And it's this like unattainable kind of guy sometimes. And it's like, mm. yeah, uh, but I think it's more so again it's important that people realize that that's the story that's being portrayed that's not I'm okay with that reality that's fair so. take I, don't I was on somewhat disagree because it feels wrong but last week I had a shoot and I was shooting bikini and I had a zit below my butt and I was like so like guys can we just like photoshop this out because like it's it's enough that my butt's on a website but my butt with a zit I don't I don't know so I hear that I mean like People like well, my, my take is that it's not that bad if they're like, it's like a company and they're trying to push a product. If you normally look every day of the if you're every day of the week you look a certain way and it's one time your your booty has a zit, okay, uh, whatever, dude, Photoshop it. The point is for you to look at your best in that instance, okay, whatever. Uh, that, that's fine. With a zit, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. So I hear that. I mean, like, not gonna go like people. It. Oh yeah, today guys, we're doing a, a photo shoot for uh, Olay or some or fucking at. Uh, uh, whatever so, uh, some shampoo oh my god oh my god dude your your booty what is that it has some a thing on it oh but yeah but you gotta look natural and if it just happened it happens do it uh, it's like uh, well not like really us this. are probably more likely to be airbrushed significantly no, more than most people and i don't want anyone that's going to change my body shape if it means me being the brave one and kind of being uncomfortable with the way i look in some pictures well there be belly rolls in my stretch marks on my cellulite like i think that that's a necessary evil at least for me in terms of like what i want to see change in this industry and like see that positive impact as what you were saying the like what? a zit or something and i struggle with dark circles and stuff like that i want clear skin and that's the image okay, i want for myself okay. so i would be okay that's cap that that that's in my opinion people people want to see and people look for things that they enjoy looking at and sometimes some 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 flaws what even if they're natural whatever people just don't enjoy looking at them it doesn't like let's say uh, not turn them on but it doesn't make them oh ooh. It, may, it, it doesn't it's just kind of like that's not an opinion some things are just not uh, yeah i don't know man it's just uh... completely fine if someone touches up my dark circles or you know makes my legs longer in like a fish eye bubble lens or something you know in that sort but to take away from my stretch marks to take away from you know my stomach i don't want to perceive okay something that's I'll say, not me i'll say like this okay you're allowed to if you want to show things that people don't like it go right ahead but don't get mad if people don't consume the product and don't get mad if people don't don't like it and don't blame society that they're, that they're wrong for not liking real things because they don't consume it. Because you, if you choose to, 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 to show and promote something that is not nice or not beautiful to, to look at, if people don't, don't consume it, don't go out crying. You did, you, you did on purpose. Like what? Because yeah. that's, that's not my brand. When you're on camera, like how you may look to your- You're allowed to show cellulite or, or your, your whatever. I'm allowed to not enjoy it and want not to look at it. And you're not gonna shame me or, or, or get mad at me for not consuming your dog shit. Uh, like on, uh, in the mirror, it doesn't always translate on camera. Right. And then it's like, wait, my pores are that big? Or like, my eyes look that sunken? Or and She's right on that though. With the lenses getting better in the industry, it's portraying us even harsher because they'll pick up like wrinkles uh, you yeah. didn't even personally <laughs> see on your face. And so yeah, a little touch up. Kind of cool with that. <laughs> See, I agree with that. I have insecurities about my body. Everybody, all in heart Three, agree. You, there's no, two, all in heart one, agree. This, this yeah. it's, it's impossible.
It's impossible that you're fully a stable. It's impossible. I've done a lot of work on myself. Like I, I used to hate myself, and I've done that work to like come on the other side and recognize that I'm beautiful. But I think the only reason I say somewhat agree is that Some it's impossible to be in this industry and not be hyper aware of of the things that are you know that you should change or maybe should alter or like oh this girl's working more than I do. What is you know like her, what's better about her body Madam, than mine? This is a this is a whole cap machine. This is cap 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 cap. Dude, this is a whole industry of caps. And like, and that's just in my pure moments of weakness and not weakness, but in my pure human moments. Yeah. Let's say in the real world, like if I'm walking down the street as a pedestrian, right? Like my body is like whatever. <laughs> but like in our industry and what we do, we think well. Will I book a job if I have this extra like five pounds on me? You know what I mean? Or like, would I book a job if I was a little bit taller? So I think that like body image issues that I already had were kind of magnified when I stepped into this. So I'm like in a great place. So I actually probably should be on like somewhat disagree. Um, Again, my, my only hold back was like, I'm from the South. I like everything a little bit thicker. So including myself, <laughs> that is always a self-conscious part I would love he likes to put big on some booties. extra muscle one day, my which I man. just know it comes, but I do sacrifice it for being in the industry at this time. But I completely accept it. I still think it looks good. Um, it's not my ideal self, but it is still a self that I am happy with. Okay. So. I you know think... What? I, I think maybe he misunderstood the premise. Uh, having an insecurity about any part of your body, even if it's really small, it's not, it's not, a, pro it's not a problem. It's something that everybody has. Yet, you can have high I'm confidence. Just, I'm you can be incredibly confident about how you look, but even just one small thing, that you, that's still an insecurity. That's okay. Still you go to go to agree. Going through fully accepting myself, I still think about my body and myself every day. But I'm, I'm in a good place. I'm definitely better than what I used to be and more accepting. Like, you know what? I am big. I am curved. And I look good, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I have the curves. You look good. Um, I have the curves. I have like the genesis qua, you know. Like we, I have everything that anybody else has. And for you to be confident as well, and when you know it, that confident like oozes out, yeah. and right. you can feel that when someone's energy as well. So. Right. And that is officially a wrap. Yeah. Okay. And we wanted to gift you guys some Jubilee merch. Yeah. So. Thank you. Okay, I think I think some of them are being a little bit unreasonable.